uh, these are a few focus areas for us in the automotive uh, segment. <coughs> there are many automotive applications, but uh, we'll try to focus on those that are um, uh, less constraints in terms of safety. Uh, so we're not going to talk about the engine and uh, about those that are really uh, relate to safety, but those that relate to uh, multimedia, really. So we see three main uh, kinds of application. Uh, one is a <coughs> generic, generic MCU. Just not sure. Can you hear me? Sorry. Okay. Uh, so the first one is on the left-hand side, the MCU side. Uh, where you can actually see uh, a, um, a, a microcontroller it services multi multiple kind of application. Uh, typically, it has some kind of Ethernet port for communication and additional sensors and non-volatile memory to do some kind of processing. Uh, the second one in the middle is the, in, uh, the infotainment. So this is really what the driver or also the passengers really see. So it has displays, it has uh, cameras, it has sensors, communication to storage, and uh, this is really where um, the car really provides you the information. Uh, and on the right-hand side, this is what, where we see the most of the growth in this market is uh, ADAS. And uh, this is uh, Advanced uh, Driver Assistance System. Uh, it typically has some kind of connectivity to multimedia, processing uh, image sensor information uh, around the car, uh, and really providing this kind of information to the, to the processor itself for further processing. So it has uh, multiple kinds of uh, connectivity, both for chip-to-chip -chip communication or, um, uh, or through a wire. But the most important thing that I would like to talk about here is more of uh, the imaging side of things. <coughs> um, what, what ADAS SOCs require, and this is a fairly, um, uh, well, I wouldn't say new, but uh, fairly uh, de demanding here, is uh, compliance to an ISO 262. Uh, certification. So this kind of ASO sun, uh, kind of uh, certification is required by the SOC in order to be considered in this kind of application which is safety related. So uh, ADAS really absorbs the, the information around the car for example and provides this kind of processing and uh, decision making whether or not to uh, alert the driver or even to do any action. So uh, ISO 262 uh, is uh, actually a safety documentation uh, that uh, <clears throat> that really provides uh, diagnostic uh, analysis that provides you this kind of information uh, for you to um, really um, be compliant to this kind of application. So uh, Synopsys has this kind of capability. We have. Uh, what we say is strategies and safety managers in place in order for us to qualify our IP and certify it to be compliant to this ISO 262 and also collaborate with SGS uh, TUV in order for us to uh, really speed up the SOC safety for our designers. Um, so this is one of the examples. So when uh, you look at here as a really a concept car, as this is a Nissan intelligent driver system, there are many uh, efforts in the, this market today to have an autonomous car. This is just one of them. And really what uh, the effort here is to have uh, some kind of visibility of, of the surrounding of the car, uh, that the car will really know exactly where it stands and really what it has to do. Uh, so in order for the car to be aware of all the surroundings, you have multiple kind of image sensors, uh, laser scanners and radar sensors, all of them really providing this kind of information that the driver or the car itself can really make some kind of uh, intelligent uh, decisions. So this is really the superset of uh, the ADAS, but ADAS is also a subset of it, is really providing uh, this kind of information to the driver so the driver can uh, can. Uh, act uh, upon this kind of information. And uh, for that, really what you need, you need to have uh, 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 complete solutions that provide you a full image sensor capability as well as display capability. So the full interface is provided by Synopsys, for example, providing you a future-proof uh, connectivity for image sensors, DeFi, CSI, and DSI controllers, including sample software, uh, providing you the speeds that allowing you to connect to 
uh, all variety of image sensors available in the market today and in the future. And of course, to have the ISO 262 certification that allows our customers to integrate it safely into their SOC. I would like to give you that as an example now in the application itself. As you can see on the right hand side, uh, you have really a car and you have four image sensors on each corner of the car. Uh, front cameras, so front left and front right, back left and back right, that allows you to do multiple kind of application. Of course, um, um, I mean driving back and parking, this is just one of the application, but also when you actually lane departure or we, you continue to drive forward and there is some kind of obstacle, the car itself can really hit, hit the brake in order for you to avoid an accident. So this kind of application or capability allowing you to have four camera modules on the four different corners. And this is really what we're seeing here. So of course you can have more than just the four, but four are really the basic one that allowing you to have this coverage. Uh, and uh, in all of these kind of camera modules that are located in each, in each corner, you have this uh, image sensor, MIPI CSI2 and DeFi uh, connectivity over there. Uh, actually, this is a chipset from typical, typically multiple companies providing the image sensor, the image signal processing, and additional processors in order for you to capture the image, uh, do some kind of processing on it, and transmit it to the main uh, ADAS processor. So typically you have an ethernet switch that really connects all the ethernet ports that are being transmitted from each corner, uh, consolidating them and connecting it to the uh, ADAS processor that is actually can consolidate all this kind of information and uh, make those uh, decisions. So the ADAS uh, processor, I'll be touching about that later, but really this is a comprehensive solution. This is just one of the architectures that are right currently deployed in automotive that uh, Synopsys IP can help and um, uh, get you there. Uh, this is uh, a typical uh, 16 or 14 nanometer kind of ADAS processor. These are the typical interfaces and uh, capabilities that you have over there. Uh, so 16 or 14 nanometer is re required in order for you to hit the performance you need, but also to maintain the low power both in active and leakage. Uh, that uh, this kind of automotive application uh, required. You have a selection of IP over here. I've uh, been talking mostly about the imaging side of things, uh, which is really the MIPI side of things. So this is the DeFi, the physical layer. But on top of that, you can have the CSI2, so for camera in, uh, image sensor, and uh, the DSI for, for the display. But you have additional things, ADCs, you have uh, mobile storage to store this kind of information, so EMMC, UFS. All, the, all of this kind of uh, capabilities. You have a vision processor, of course, that allows you to um, uh, process, process this information. But what I wanted to hit on this point is uh, the interface itself and the ability to have it and to have it mature and ready, this is one of the requirements, but this is not the only thing. For automotive application, having the ISO 262 safety package and certification is, should be part of the decision making when you select the IP. Having an ACL ready IP is one of the requirements, and this is really where Synopsys come uh, into play. Uh, this is the IP portfolio that we have currently servicing this kind of automotive SOCs. Uh, I do not need to go over it in detail. Of course, you can talk to me and talk to any other Synopsys um, uh, representative, but this is just uh, the selection of IPs that we have uh, available today that you can um, uh, potentially integrate into your uh, SOC going forward. And uh, that's it. So effectively, our Designware IP is available on Chip Estimate. This is where uh, Chip Estimate is hosting us today. And um, using it in uh, your next chip for the automotive uh, um, uh, application is really w our goal. This is really where we're being selected now and in the future. If you have further questions, of course, I'm here to answer. Thank you very much.